Hello, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 19th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Quite a few events to talk about, as we've seen four M-class solar flares in the past 48 hours. And there's the most recent from active 10 sunspot regions right now on our sun. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. A couple plasma blasts there. M-class solar flare. And as well, another M-class solar flare. No major CMEs thwarted our way. Having a look at outgoing. This is where we saw a large plasma whip. Quite possibly may have made it to Earth very quickly as it whipped away from the northern hemisphere of our sun we'll have a closer look at that right now slow down this imagery and look at all the events in the last 48 hours there's that large plasma whip and that looked like it came right at us pretty much and we did see an accelerated solar wind speed at 1300 kilometers per second and that was yesterday and it was very momentary but it did happen. There are the most recent M-class solar flares and notable regions in the Southern Hemisphere, plasma filaments lifting. Looking at multi-spectrum here, amazing to see all of the events under the multi-spectrum. Also, this is where we can see coronal hole regions blackened on our sun. And it looks like there is another one developing and moving in equatorial region. We'll be keeping an eye on our sun the next few days. As, as I said, there were 10 sunspot regions that are earth facing and a few of them quite capable of producing some strong solar flares. So stay tuned, aware and prepared. Another look at all these sunspot regions. Just some amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with daily events worldwide. Have a quick look at the sunspot regions in motion. As we have three very large in the southern hemisphere, one large one in the northern hemisphere. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts. Solar X-ray flux remains in a heightened C range. I've just seen four M-class solar flares the last 24 hours. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP3. Real-time solar wind. Right now, we're sitting at about 450 kilometers per second. And that is the strongest wind speed in the past 24 hours. Yesterday, we did record 1,300 kilometers per second. Looking at the total electron content moving across our world. Interesting little map here. Able to see the highest cosmic charge particle areas. ISWA space prediction spiral. Showing some energy coming our way and as well some energies coming from the solar or from the coronal hole wind stream. Looking at LASCO 2 showing the last 48 hours of events. CMEs and as well blasts from our sun and as I said no major CMEs thwarted our way large plasma blast there on the top right hand side and let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours this has been pretty busy yesterday a pretty strong earthquake in Mexico 6.4 Magnitude earthquake originally came in as a 6.6, .6, but a 6.4 reported here with USGS, La Riviera, Mexico, and as well the Gulf of California reporting a 5.2. Colorado, Hone, Colorado reporting a 4.3, 4.4 there to Maj, California, and increasing activity, but just under 200 earthquakes past 24 hours. 5.3 here, Panama. Lots of earthquakes straight down the Nazca plate into the South American plate. West Chile rise, 4.5. As well, notable activity here, Puerto Rico, 
Strongest today was the 3.7. Notable earthquake here south of Africa, a 6.0 magnitude earthquake. Activity through Turkey. And as well, Afghanistan, Myanmar reporting a 4.8 and a 5.6 today. And then look at the West Ring of Fire right now. Japan, Kuril Islands up into Russia. 5.9 here reported Papua New Guinea. A few aftershocks already through the region. Vanuatu, 5.3. And then we get to the Tonga region as we're still seeing many earthquakes there. Largest the last... 48 hours being a 5.8. We saw a 7.2 there the other day. Having a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world, this is our hotspot. Southwest Ring of Fire and residual energies bouncing all across the plates. Active Kilauea volcano releasing a lot of pressure. with tons of magma and a new cone has formed in the summit. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Still have a tornado warning in Greer, South Carolina to talk about as extreme weather moves through the Southeast United States. Looking at Popopocatitl in Mexico, as well, Reventador in Ecuador. Many flood alerts here. Sangay in Ecuador, Sabincaya in Peru, Mayan in the Philippines, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. So that's about seven volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 49 that are active and erupting. Having a look at satellite imagery, we do have Tropical Storm Brett, second named Atlantic Hurricane, and is now heading through central Atlantic Ocean. And it looks like it may break apart before it reaches Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, no major typhoons or cyclones to talk about, but lots of moisture moving across the Australian continent, lots of cloud cover, and as well, lots of daily evaporation of rains across central regions, Micronesia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, some pretty strong lows in the southern hemisphere right now and waves of moisture will be coming into Australia over the next few days. Overlooking Europe, Africa, large low off the coast of Ireland right now and through France and Spain. Watch for lots of moisture this week and some stormy conditions through central Europe. Let's have a look at SO2 forecast air quality for the next three days as we're still seeing quite a bit of ash and SO2 particulates coming out of Popa Paquetito in Mexico and as well the fires across Canada. Most of them are out now but still seeing smoke coming down. Northern regions, eastern regions of Russia, Kamchatka, lots of SO2 coming off of those volcanoes. Notable there through the Tonga region, SO2 coming out of, I don't even know what that is. There's no island there. Let's have a look over Europe and Africa. So stay safe, stay safe and healthy out there, aware and prepared with daily rents worldwide. Let's have a look at weather forecast here for the next few days. Daily evaporation rains, Central Africa, low pressure system moving into Europe this week. Watch for extreme weather to break out. Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Lots of moisture through India and as well Thailand. Overlooking Australia and the West Pacific. Again, no major typhoons forecasted, but some strong low pressure systems all around Australia right now in the Southern Hemisphere, affecting New Zealand, Tasmania, and as well Southern parts of Australia. Now let's get to North America as we still have that large low pressure system bringing tons of snow to the Alberta foothills. 
We also have a low that is hanging around southeastern United States, going to bring extreme weather here for the next few days. So heads up, some dangerous weather is on your doorstep for the Gulf states. And then watching here Thursday into Friday as the low pressure system develops and another one through central United States. So it's going to be an extreme weather week. Heads up, stay safe, and stay tuned to your local forecasts. Or stay tuned here with daily events worldwide. Long range forecast showing a monstrous low centering itself over Ontario and affecting most of eastern Canada in the long range forecast. And no other major tropical systems developing in the Atlantic, but maybe in the West Pacific. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Thanks for watching. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.